And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Flying weather for Sunday morning. A lot of IFR out here in the Bering Sea and then becoming marginal VFR up along the southwest coast. Alaska Peninsula, all of the Aleutians, except Shimiana too, IFR, IFR through the Bering Strait, and back up along the central and eastern Arctic coast down into the North Slope with marginal VFR all the way down across the northeast interior into the Tana Valley right up to the uh, Alaska Range. But to the west and south, VFR, Marginal VFR, most of Kodiak Island, IFR up here along the eastern North Gulf Coast, along the north coast of the Panhandle. That uh, burns off in the afternoon there, leaving marginal VFR behind over the southern southeast coast, out over the Gulf of Alaska into Prince William Sound, Resurrection Bay. And uh, good VFR though, Cook Inlet right on up into the Yukon Flats there, although off to the east, you see some marginal VFR. Central Eastern Arctic Coast, IFR, marginal now through the Bering Strait, and IFR here pushing in with that next system well into the uh, southwest interior here to Kodiak Island, extending back down across the southern Bering Sea. Some improvement over the Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula becoming marginal VFR, more of IFR out to the west. And for the morning hours Monday, IFR eastward here to about uh, ADAC, maybe Atka, otherwise covering the entire southern Bering Sea, right on up into Bristol Bay. More IFR up here, St. Lawrence Island through the Bering Strait, and continuing IFR, central eastern Arctic coast, portions of the North Slope up that way. Brooks Range not too bad here, mostly VFR on down into the eastern interior, in fact, right on down in the Copper River Basin to about the Wrangell Mountains. Marginal VFR, South Central Alaska, Kuskokwim Valley, and still IFR here out over the Gulf of Alaska and along the eastern North Gulf Coast. And for the afternoon, becoming VFR here for the Southeast Coast with IFR, North Gulf Coast and southward. Marginal VFR covering much of interior Alaska. The Brooks Range though could see areas of VFR. Back to IFR, Central Eastern Arctic Coast, Bering Sea, IFR here, all the way down to the central and western Aleutians. Taking a look at passes for tomorrow in the Brooks Range, Anatuvik and Attigan, a little better than today. Marginal VFR for both of those passes. Lake Clark and Merrill, VFR becoming marginal VFR as moisture increases from the west, southwest. Rainy VFR becoming marginal during the afternoon hours, possibly becoming uh, IFR for all three passes tomorrow evening. Windy though, VFR through the day, Isabel, VFR, a VFR flying day for Mentasta on Sunday, looking good also for Tanita, and for Portage, uh, possible marginal VFR on the east side there, otherwise VFR, Chilkoot and White, VFR. And now for the freezing levels, 6,000 feet kind of pushing back up to the north there to the Western Brooks Range. 8 to uh, 14,000 feet here across the southwest interior, warmest over the Alaska Peninsula, 8 to 10,000 feet over the uh, eastern Aleutians, and another shot of cool air coming into the western Bering Sea. Icing here, moisture pushing up to the northeast here, bringing considerable moderate rime icing right up to the Bering Strait, Norton Sound, across the Yukon Delta with a band extending along the frontal boundary there right into central Cook Inlet and then into the Gulf of Alaska. And from there, taking a look at the jet stream. Next uh, upper level low pulling into the uh, Northern Bering Sea here. So good westerly winds, 115 to 95 knots here. Strongest right across the uh, Pribilof Islands, 95 to 100 knots, Alaska Peninsula, turning west at 95 Kodiak Island, and then blowing off to the uh, southeast here as it approaches the southwest coast. And for the 9,000 foot winds, westerly 35 knots there up over the uh, upper Tana Valley 40 mile country. Otherwise pretty light to the west, to the north, southeast coast looking at light winds and pretty strong westerlies here coming from the uh, Southern Bering Sea and then just south of Kodiak Island. And for 3,000 feet, east winds 25 knots there, just uh, west-southwest of St. Lawrence Island, Come back, coming back around south side of this low, 45 knots, again over the uh, 
eastern bearing dropping off as they reach the Alaska Peninsula, Peninsula there to about 35 knots and pretty light over the interior and the southeast coast. So turbulence wise, possibly some isolated moderate turbulence, eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula, as well as around the uh, Pribilof Islands.